going on, guys? Will again with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to Warrior Wednesday, where we discuss relevant warrior topics such as warrior ethos, warrior way of life, how to live it, and how to dominate and succeed in all areas of your life using the warrior mindset. Today's topic is going to be strength in being a man. Now, I don't have everything figured out. I'm 37. I'll be 38 soon. All right. So I'm not, I don't have it all figured out. Not that you ever do, right? But I've been around a little bit longer than some of the younger guys and I've seen some stuff, right? I see a lot of guys these days, especially being very emotional and reactive. And I am here to tell you something that is freaking taboo in today's society. And I'm going to say it outright. Emotions do not serve a warrior. Period. They will get you no place in battle or in business. Period. Now, I'm not saying not to feel. But I am saying to choose when you let yourself feel your feelings, right? A man's position throughout history was not to be emotional. That's best left to the women, honestly. This country wasn't founded by emotional reactive men. Now, that's not to say that men should have emotions. If you think that the founding fathers, when they founded this country, were not scared or apprehensive about being hung if the war didn't go their way, then you're crazy. They just didn't show it. If you think that a commanding officer like this guy wasn't scared shitless going out front and leading his men into battle, you're freaking nuts. But they don't show it. They're trained not to show it. They're trained to go out there in the front of their men. Stone-faced, emotionless. If they do show any emotion, it's a scream, right? It's a wild yell. It's a follow me, man. I know what I'm doing. Follow me. And by the way, that's that's the motto at One Shepherd Leadership Institute. It's where I learn all my most, the majority of my small unit tactic stuff. I highly suggest it. There's nothing to make a young man into a man than leading men into combat. Now, obviously these days, unless you join the military and even then, you might not be able to actually get to see any combat. It's not a bad thing. But leading men into battle, whether that's a Miles mock battle or whatever, it teaches you a lot of valuable lessons. Now, I'm not saying that we need to actually go into battle to become a man or to learn how to control our emotions. No, not at all. We can simply practice controlling our emotions. And this is my point, is that there is a time and a place to allow yourself to be emotional, but business and battle is not the time. You think if you're about to sign a freaking $50 million deal and the person about to hand you and write you the check, see that you're like shaking and like second guessing yourself. You think they're going to actually like want to give you this business. You think they're going to want to hand you, uh, a man a check for 50 million freaking dollars or even for a thousand dollars. If the man doesn't seem like he knows exactly what he's going to be doing with that money and exactly how he's going to help the client make even more money, turn that money into more money. If, if, if the, if the client sees you, uh, th thank you. Thank you. Th uh, I'll try really hard. The client's going to be like, try really hard. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to go to the man down the street. Who's got the confident eyes simply takes the check and says, thank you. We're going to make you a lot more money with this. Now, 
let's clarify another thing here, all right? A man with no emotions that's not a healed man that's not a healthy man a healthy man is a man who knows how to regulate his emotions and that's really what it boils down to and especially when dealing with women like they will all say they will all say that they want a man who's in touch with their emotions and who knows how to be emotional but Honestly, that's fucking bullshit because the moment that they see that you're weak, they're going to fucking leave and they're going to think of you as a bitch because you are like, honestly, the moment that they sense like overall generalized weakness in a man, they're out of there, man. They don't want any freaking part of it and they can tell you whatever they want to tell you. But I'm telling you, like as somebody, a 37 year old man who's been with my share of <laughs> women and seen my share of like relationships both with myself and with friends that's absolute bullshit they don't understand women these women they don't understand what they mean when they say that but what they really mean is they want a man who is able to regulate his emotions now a well-heeled man who's strong i'm not saying you never cry that's an old school mentality that i mean it's a mentality right i'm not saying it's wrong and i'm not saying it's Right, but I'm saying it's maybe probably not the most healthy thing, right? Like, men, I'm telling you, I'm giving you permission. Like, you can shed a tear, but you can shed a strong tear, okay? If you need to shed a tear in front of your woman, like, you make that shit look strong. You shed a tear, you cry a little bit, all right, whatever, and then you go right back to being fucking strong again. And you show them that, like, you're that type of guy that can trust them enough to shed that tear in front of them and nobody fucking else. That's what women want. I'm telling you as a freaking fact, that's what women want. They want a man who can be emotional with them every once in a while and show them, show the women that they have that ability to like be a tender, soft, caring individual, perhaps husband, father, right? Someone who's not complete psycho stone face, killer, you know, but they want that, they want that killer in you. And they don't always want you to be emotional. You come home every night or every week crying to them about some fucking bullshit. They're going to disrespect you immediately. And they're going to go away. And they're going to find a guy like me who knows how to regulate our fucking emotions. Now you come home every once in a blue moon, and in private, you tell them, like, you know, this really, like, fucked me up when that happened, and uh, you reluctantly shed that tear. Okay, they can respect that. That's what they're there for, to help you out, right, emotionally. Because emotionally, women have more emotions than us. And uh, if they wanted a fucking another woman, they would go be a lesbian. Frankly, this is why a lot of them are becoming lesbians. Is because women know how to regulate their emotions better than some dudes out there, I'm sorry to say. So regulate your emotions. Be strong 90% of the time. And the other 10% of the time, you can be a little bit, <clears throat> you can be a little bit show, showing emotions, you know with your woman. And I've talked about this before, but another big problem with being emotional and reactive is this is exactly how people manipulate you. This opens you up to being manipulated like a mother flower. Salesmen know this, and this is why they try to get you excited about an item that they want you to buy, right? Women know this, and this is why that some women will try to stir up feelings of like resentment towards your friends, towards your family, so that they can isolate you and get you away from them and start to work on controlling you even more and more and more. I mean, everybody laughs and like makes fun of them, but uh, Prince Henry or whatever, it's exactly what happened to that dude. It's a classic story. And I've seen it too many freaking times. It's exactly what some women will do. I'm not saying all women, like obviously there's a lot of good ones out there, but some will definitely do that. You know, some men will absolutely try to control you through your emotions. You're emotional, you're reactive. 
opens you up to a lot of bad stuff happening, right? Not to mention the fact that it can get you locked up, stabbed up, shot up. It's just, it's not good. You know, a lot of, uh, I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this. There's a lot of people out there that don't know how to control their emotions. That's why they're in prison all the time. A man controls his fucking emotions. A man who is easily controlled is a bitch. This is why women are so easy to sell. <laughs> this is why like the makeup and hair and freaking like all well, that industry is like a billion dollar industry. And this is why they gear advertisements on TV towards women. It used to be because they started off doing it because, you know, women were home during the day and like they would they would gear it towards them. But then they figured out, well, wait, wait, women are actually the ones buying everything because we tell them it's good and they buy it right away. So like that's that's a big reason a lot of these commercials are really geared towards women. They're just so easy to sell. They're so emotional about things. Do you want a better life? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you want to look very, very beautiful all the time? And yeah, 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 yeah. We'll buy this item. Okay, okay, I'll buy it. Like it's comical, but it's unfortunately it's true. Men, you shouldn't act like that. A man who is easy to control and easy to get to react is a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Be a man. Men need to be stoic leaders who know when it's appropriate to be a brick wall and when it's appropriate to open up a little bit. And I say a little bit. You know, this, this is not going to be appropriate. But it's very appropriate. You guys need to hear it. It's not going to be popular. It's not a popular opinion. I mean, it's becoming more and more popular through stoicism and things like that the readings of marcus Aurelius or whatever you know but you guys need to like read that and actually internalize it right i i know a lot of you out there that watch this channel are very much like well-adjusted men but there's a lot of the young guys especially out there and some of you older guys too fuck you like get your shit together and don't be so damn reactive take charge lead know when to show emotions and when the fucking not, you know? And I, I get like a little bit like this because it's such a problem in the society that we have today in America, especially but in Europe as well. You know, men are out there eating junk food, eating soy, drinking shit loads of beer and just like letting themselves fall apart. Like get your shit together, dude. Like go work out, lift some weights, Go for a run, right? Do some boxing. Get some, get that damn testosterone flowing again. Make yourself, make yourself into a respectable man who knows, who knows how to lead and control your emotions. Now, with that being said, guys, that's all I got for you today. I thought it was very important. You know, I watched the movie Napoleon the other night, but I mean, um, that combined with other personal things that I've just I've experienced and seen other men experiencing this past couple of weeks, I've really just I need to I needed to come out and say it. And I hope that maybe this helps somebody out there. And if you do need any, any help with this type of stuff, hey, just send me an email. I'm not going to charge you for it. You know, uh, go to fighting secrets at gmail.com. I'm glad to help, especially you younger eyes out there. Get your shit together. Because it's needed. We need more leaders in this society right now. If you like this stuff, guys, check out gutterfightingsecrets.com and also consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out, frankly speaking. And if nothing else, hey, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and throw a comment down there. I want to know what you think about this and it helps the channel out. Till next time, Warriors. You are your last, first, and last line of defense. See you on the next video this week. Cheers, brother.